we're gonna talk about the cost of being your own bank because there is a cost and everybody's like, oh, I don't wanna do it, it's too expensive. Dave Ramsey and Susie Orman say it's all expenses. So let's talk about that cost. So that's what I'm gonna to cover today. And this was all prompted because one of my money mentors was on the phone with, an, with a client and the client said to him, where did the 10% go? So what does he mean by the 10%? Well, we're gonna dive into that, but you don't have access to 100% of your premium deposits in the first couple years. Why? So let's dive into this because we gotta talk about the cost. Everybody wants to talk about the cost, the cost, the cost, the cost, but yet they never talk about the cost with the other things in life. But we're gonna hit that today. So as you may or may not know watching this, what we do is we teach people like you how to take back control of their money. And we do that simply by showing you how to be your own bank. It's so simple. The process is called the infinite banking concepts and it's a process, not a product. But that process allows you to take back the banking functions in your life. And it involves, yes, a product. And that product is, drum roll please, a specially designed whole life insurance policy that pays dividends. And that has to be from a mutually owned company. And this is where most people are like, I want nothing to do with this. But let's get into the cost. So you wanna be your own bank and you wanna consider using one of these specially designed whole life. So why the whole life? Well, let's just talk about the why for just a second. So let me tell you about this vehicle, this place where you can put your safe deposits. When I mean safe, I mean the money that you put in the bank. That's safe deposits. I like to call it guaranteed deposits. Now imagine a vehicle that you could put your money in that paid you, number one, a guaranteed interest rate. Got it? Guaranteed, right there. Number two, that also pays you a dividend every year and it has paid dividends for well over a hundred years never missing one so guaranteed interest number one dividends number two but you see in this vehicle both the interest and dividends grows tax free if it's designed properly oh, 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 oh yeah so it's tax advantage and let's keep going number four it allows you to access your cash value your deposits anytime you want and it doesn't matter what you're using it for. So you've got immediate access to at least 60 or 90% of your money immediately in the first 30 days. See, I dripped it in there, didn't I? 60 to 90%. And some of you are like, whoa, 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 hold on a second. Why not 100%? Well, that's what we're gonna talk about, but let's keep going because there is a number five. You get to access that 60 to 90% of your money immediately in the first 30 days to go out there and do anything. Like you could go buy cars, buy real estate, do private loans. You could invest in stocks and Bitcoin. You can do anything you want, except this vehicle allows you to use your money without actually taking your money out of the account. You get to save and spend or invest without interrupting the growth of your deposits. Now, what did I say the growth of your deposits were? It was one, two, and three, right? Guaranteed interest, dividends, tax-free. So we're not gonna interrupt any of that, which means your money's gonna compound uninterrupted while you still get to invest the money. So if you really understood that, you would understand that that allows your money to make money twice on the same dollar. And number six, someday, I know a long time in the future, but someday when you graduate, I don't mean high school or college, I mean the big graduation, heaven. When you graduate and you leave this world to your kids, your family, there is a tax-free death benefit paid out to your family, your beneficiaries. So think about that. Like that's pretty important if you care about your family. Now, some of you watching this probably don't care about your family and if that's the case, then stop, hit the stop button right now, move on to another video because this is not for you. But let's focus on that magic vehicle, right? All that sounded pretty good, didn't it? 
Well, all of that is because of the machine, the vehicle, the specially designed and engineered whole life insurance policy. But now today's video specifically is around that 10%. So when the money mentor that talked to me about this particular topic said to me, he said, Chris, I don't know what to say to this client. He said, when I make a deposit into this specially designed whole life, I only have access to anywhere between 60 to 90%, but let's just call it the 90%. I only have access to 90%. Where is the other 10%? What happens to it? Does it magically just float away? No, that 10%, that 10% is what makes sure that when you're no longer here, your family can still afford the house that they live in. That 10% makes sure that when you're no longer here, your family can still put food on the table. That 10% makes sure that your young children have money to go to college. That 10% makes sure that the cars in the driveway still get paid for. That 10% makes sure that your family is able to continue the lifestyle that you were able to provide when you were here. That 10% is your legacy. And if none of that is good enough for you, well then I think you better look at your priorities and really assess them carefully. Because 10% to make sure my family can live a better life or the same life and sustain their standard of living and pay for the cars and the house and the food and all the family vacations, and the 10% can continue to make sure that memories are still created when I'm gone, sign me up. And that's what we're talking about. The cost of the insurance. You see, whole life insurance is just that. It's life insurance for your whole life. And no one ever said that it was free. I don't know a single insurance company that is non-profit. I'm sure there might be some, but not the ones we use. They are for profit institutions and therefore they charge a cost for that insurance protection to make sure that when we die a death benefit is paid out to our family so i think when somebody asks me about that 10 percent okay how much does this cost my answer is always the same cost is only an issue in the absence of value what is it that you value? So there's a lot of things. You can really break that down and compartmentalize that, but it doesn't matter. What is it that you value and what are you willing to pay for that value? If that value is your family and making sure they're protected, if that value is making sure that there's a legacy when you're gone, if that value is making sure that the estate taxes on your entire estate, if your high net worth is taken care of and the insurance company's foot in the bill to pay that state tax, well, what is the cost for that? In this case, about 10%. Now that's not gonna be the same for everybody, but I think that's a really good starting place because this money mentor had to explain to the client the 10%. Now why the 10%? Because this client would make a deposit into his specially designed and engineered whole life and would only have access to 90% of the cash value. Not 100%, not in the first year, 90%. And that was what the client was focused on the 10%. So producing these videos has a huge cost, but the best thing you could do that would provide a ton of value is click that subscribe button and there's a little bell up top. See, you almost didn't even see it, but that little bell, what I'd like you to do is smash that bell. I was trying to catch that thing right in midair. You want me, to, want me to try that again? All right, I'm gonna try it. Now this, I'm a righty, so I'm gonna try to left hook this thing straight out of the air, three, two, one. Ow! Just like anything else in life, do you want to focus on the 10% or the 90%? Now, I feel like in life, a lot of times, I see people that are focused on all the wrong things, which probably explains why only 5% of the entire population will retire financially secure. That's right, 95% of every person you ever come in contact with will retire without financial security. That is a social security statistic. But why is that? 
Well, it's because 95% of the population is focused on all the wrong things. Listen to Earl Nightingale's strangest secret in the world. Success is your worthy idea, your progressive realization of a worthy idea. What is your worthy idea? If your worthy idea is focusing on the 10% problem, the cost, and not focusing on the 90% that makes sure everything else happens, then your worthy idea is worthless. Because that right there spells out why 95% of the population will not be financially secure. And where 5% will be financially secure, only 1% of the population will ever be wealthy. It's all in how we perceive things. It's all in what we focus on. I mean, listen, I don't mean to hit Dave Ramsey so much, but let's just look at Dave Ramsey. And let's look at all of Dave Ramsey's students and clients. How many of those students and clients do you think make up the 1%? Probably not very many, right? Might even be zero. How many of those Dave Ramsey students that buy into Dave Ramsey's methodology, which is poo-poo on whole life, poo-poo on just about everything except for what Dave talks about? Well, if you think they're five percenters, or are they the 95 percenters? They're probably the 95 percenters. But I'm getting down a rabbit hole. Let's bring this back. Your legacy, what does your legacy look like? What does it look like? When you're no longer here, what do you want to make sure happens? These are real difficult questions because we don't ever want to think about that day when we're no longer here, but that is inevitable. There are two things that are certain in life, death and taxes. I already took care of the taxes part because the vehicle, the specially designed whole life, if designed properly is tax free and it will grow tax free, which means it's tax advantaged. So we've kind of taken care of that. So the death part, I'm sorry, I don't have a magic wand that can solve that for you. The bad news is you, me, Jordan, everybody will die. That's right. And when we're no longer here, what does your legacy look like? That is what the 10% is. But you see, the 10% is almost kind of a weird number too, because in the policies, the way we design them for banking, you're gonna put money in and you're gonna immediately have access to 60 to 90% of that money, depending on the design that you choose. And, and some people are like, well, why would anyone choose 60 versus 90? Because sometimes the 60 is much better in the long run. So are you chasing the short game or are you playing the long game? And that's a very important question sometimes because life is a marathon. And if you don't stop and smell the roses sometimes, that is a problem. So that's the short game. If you're playing the short game, the long game may never materialize. But let me, let me stop right there and let's transition over to something else because hey, listen, you wanna provide a legacy, you could say, yeah, but if I put money in mutual funds or ETFs or I buy stocks, I'm gonna have way more money than I would with, than I, in that whole life. Wow. Now what you're talking about are two totally different things. That'd be like comparing a dog and a cat. They're different animals. Believe me, a cat is nothing like a dog and a dog is nothing like a cat. So if you wanna compare those two, let's do it. But before we compare, let's go back to that specially designed whole life and using it for the infinite banking concept. It's not the whole life or the investments that you should be comparing because the whole life allows you to still invest the money. Remember I said you have access to your money immediately in the first 30 days. There is nothing saying you can't take the money out and buy mutual funds. Take the money out and use it to buy stocks or Bitcoin or, or real estate or whatever you think is the better investment. It's not this or that, it's this and that. Does that make sense? The whole life and the investment. You can have your cake and eat it too. Yes, absolutely. But so many people want to just focus on them. So let's do that. Let's just focus on the investments that you think are going to provide a better return. And you know what? They very well might because the whole life isn't going to make a spectacular return. It's going to be about five and a half percent with dividends. You can do way better in investments. I did say it's this and that, but some people just can't get that through their thick skull. So the mutual funds, the ETFs, the stocks, the Bitcoin, all that stuff. Does that carry any risk? Yeah, a lot of risk. And if you just invest in that, is there a chance you could lose money? Yep, if you just bought GameStop or AMC at that high point, you probably lost money. If you bought Bitcoin when everybody else was jumping in, you probably have lost money right now. And I don't know whether that's you or somebody else, but I'm just saying there's risk. Is there any risk with putting money in the specially designed whole life? Zero. Well, well some of you are like, yes, there is, Chris. There's that 10%. Yeah, but we already hit that. That's the cost of insurance. So 
With those mutual fund stocks, ETFs, let me ask all of you a question. When you die, do they double in value? Does your family get more money than what you've saved up? Is it tax advantage when it passes on? Some of you are thinking, well, stocks are a step up in basis, so yeah, that's sort of tax advantage. Yeah, but if you got $100,000 in mutual funds, stocks, and ETFs, and it goes to your family, does your family get $500,000? Just asking. Oh, they don't. And when it goes to your family, do they get that tax-free? Oh, they don't. Now, let me ask you another question. Would you give up 10% of that $100,000? Just 10%. That's 10 grand. So now your family gets 90 grand of the mutual funds, but then that 10% you gave up allows them to get another 500,000 tax free. Would you do that? So you got 100,000 in investments and you opt at before you die, you check a box and that means that your family gets 10% less. So now your family gets 90,000, not 100,000, but that 10% that you gave up basically goes out and provides a $500,000 death benefit. Would that be okay with you? Cost is only an issue in the absence of value. This is where sometimes I can't understand why people can't grasp this. So many people are so focused on the cost, the cost, the cost, when they're not focusing on the value. What is the value? What is the cost providing? I mean, when you go out for a nice dinner at a restaurant, and you order the fanciest bottle of wine in the nicest dinner. Did you sit there and say, honey, look at this bill. This is grossly overpriced. No, you paid because you valued the wine and the nice meal. You had no problem with the bill, okay? Everything in life has a cost. Oh, I mean everything. Well, that's actually a lie. The most important things in life, folks, are free, but we put very little value on them. Things like love and hugs and smiles. Those are the most valuable things in life and they're all free. But how often do we see so many people putting value on those? Very rarely. What do they put value in? They put value in material things that literally depreciate in value. Things like cars and well, houses you might say appreciate, but whatever. We put value on things that are easily replaced. I don't know where I'm going with that, but I think I'm trying to get you to understand that we got to change the way we think. And we really got to stop focusing on the cost, the cost, the cost, and we got to focus on the value, the value, the value, because that's what really matters in life. And when you're talking about these specially designed and engineered whole lives to bring it back to what we're talking about, there is a cost. There is a cost of insurance. Yes, we get paid a commission, but although the way we design the policies, our commission is reduced 60 to 90% so that you and all of our clients have 60 to 90% more cash value to use immediately. You see, cost is only an issue in the absence of value to us who design these policies and give up 60 to 90% of our commission, we value our clients having more. Someone's got to give so somebody else gets. Folks, I hope this was helpful. I hope it helped you put things into perspective because when you get on the phone with a money mentor, and you can do that by just watching the video above and clicking the link to schedule a call, but when you get on the phone and you say, well, where did that 10% go? I want you to think about what we just talked about. I want you to think about the legacy. I want you to think about your family. I want you to think about making sure they can continue their lifestyle. I want you to think about how you can leave this world and provide a better life for your kids and your family. And then when you're thinking about that, I want you to think about what would you give up so that your family could live a better life when you're no longer here? What would that cost look like? Many people, they give it all up. You see, you don't have to. Cost is only an issue in the absence of value. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, I think you're gonna love this one right here. How to design a policy for max cash value.